Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you have a scanner on your computer and it says that you need a WIA driver to use this device. Please install it from the installation CD or manufacturer's website and try again. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the start menu Type in services, best match, should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to locate the Windows Image Acquisition Service and double click on it. Set startup type to automatic. So click inside the drop down and select automatic. And the service says to stop, you want to select the start button. And then once you know what that, select apply and OK. And once you're done know with that, go ahead, restart your computer like I said, and then hopefully I should have been able to resolve the problem. Another thing you can try if that does not work for you, it would be to open up the star menu, type in device manager, go ahead and open that up. There will be an imaging devices section under here. So again, I don't have one in my case, just due to the fact I don't actually have uh, an applicable device installed. But you would go ahead and double click on it the entry and then the device would be listed underneath of it. You just would go ahead and right click and then uninstall the device again and then you would restart your computer. Make sure the device is plugged back in if you use a physical connection or local connection. So if you use a physical connection to connect your printer to your computer you might just want to make sure it's plugged back in before you restart. Otherwise you might have to go through printers and scanners in the modern UI settings and go add the scanner back in that way. So again, pretty straightforward process on how to do that, guys. And one further thing you can try here, if you were to close out of here and open up the star menu, and type in troubleshoot. Best result, check it back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select additional troubleshooters. And then select printer, find and fix problems with printing. Go ahead and select run the troubleshooter. and just go along with whatever it suggests on the screen here. Okay, so you can always follow along with what it suggests here. You can see it's kind of taking us in a certain direction here. We're going to just apply certain fixes and then restart your computer to for any changes to take effect. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, like I said, pretty straightforward tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.